Okay, so we'll be starting. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum everybody. Uh, welcome to the fifth uh, uh, fifth webinar for Solar Pakistan organized by FACT Exhibitions. Uh, FACT Exhibitions Private Limited is the leading exhibition and conferences organizing company in Pakistan. Uh, they specialized in, in industrial and corporate trade shows uh, with a portfolio of over 25 industrial sectors and being the UFI approved event organizing company. Uh, the events organized by FACT are absolutely in accordance with the international standards. Uh, FACT exhibitions is, the, the webinar which we are attend attending today is part of the Solar Energy Exhibition and Conference. And this webinar series uh, focuses on the solar energy situation in Pakistan and worldwide. And uh, it facilitates and caters to the need of the industry. Currently, uh, all industry professionals who are looking to know about the top trends in solar uh, energy in Pakistan can join for this series of webinars. Um, the, today's, uh, today's webinar is focused on high performance uh, uh, solar panels. And uh, we have uh, a list of panelists on our, who are going to be speaking with us speaking uh, today on this, on this webinar. Uh, just a quick note that you can also view the recorded webinar on the FACT Exhibitions YouTube channel, which is FAKT.TV. Uh, so our speakers for today's webinar, which is Solar Pakistan webinar number five, uh, first speaker is going to be Mr. Shehan Talagala, uh, who is Sales Director for Jinko Solar for Sri Lanka, Pakistan and Maldives. He will be talking about uh, Tiger Pro's innovative technology. Uh, this will be followed by the second uh, speaker, Mr. Jel Jiang. Mr. Jel Jiang, who is the Senior Sales Manager for Southeast Asia and Pakistan for Goodwe. And he is going to talk about the outlook of the rooftop market. And finally, uh, Mr. Ali Majid is going to join us uh, in place of Mr. Alex Lee, who was not able to join due to some last minute uh, logistics issues. Uh, Mr. Ali Majid is the senior sales manager for Longi Solar, looking after Pakistan. Uh, he will talk about insights on the design of ultra high power EV modules. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining in. Just a quick reminder that you can watch this webinar recorded also on the YouTube channel, FAKT.TV. Now I would request Mr. Shahan to take it from here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wakaz. And uh, it's a pleasure to uh, join uh, this uh, esteemed uh, panel of experts, including my former colleague Ali Majid and Mr. Jell. Uh, and thank you very much for FACT for organizing this event. And uh, a, a very warm um, welcome uh, to all the participants. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, so let me start off with uh, my presentation. So I'll start off with a quick introduction about Jinko, uh, who Jinko Sola is. This is actually a photo taken at our head office in Shanghai. We've been the, the number one in terms of shipments uh, for the last four years. We've delivered uh, 55, more than 55 gigawatt of solar modules. This is more than any other company in, in history. Um, we were enjoying 12.6% uh, market share as of last year. And that number is expected to have grown uh, by this year. And uh, module capacity uh, was uh, sitting around 16 gigawatt last year. And again, this year we've uh, made significant improvements to that as well. And uh, more than the, the shipment numbers, we've always taken pride in our high efficiency products. And uh, we've been uh, able to hold the, the, the cell efficiency record at 24.58%. Uh, we have seven global factories, five in China, one in Malaysia and one in the US. We have more than 30 service centers. We cover more than 100 countries and we shipped more than 8,000 uh, orders last year. And uh, if you look at the last uh, few years, we've been uh, consistently uh, ranking at the top of bankability ratings uh, in the industry. And uh, it's not just one year, one quarter. Uh, what's important is that we've been, uh, for the last, if you look at the last five years, we've been at the very top in terms of bankability. And uh, here you can see that uh, uh, our company's growth over the years. And 
it's significantly higher than the in industry growth rate. Even when the industry has been growing at a slower pace uh, since the policy changes in China, Jinko has still managed to grow at a, at a fairly rapid, rapid pace. So here's a quick uh, snapshot of our financial performance. Being a publicly listed company at the New York Stock Exchange, everything is transparent at Jinko. So all these information uh, can be easily accessed uh, by all our clients. And here again, you can see uh, how the shift to mono has taken place from 2018 and then uh, by 2020, where almost uh, all our production has shifted to mono. Um, and uh, as you can see, even in the, in the first quarter, which was affected uh, significantly by the COVID virus, uh, we have uh, done fairly well. Uh, with uh, revenue uh, more than $1.2 billion. Uh, one more interesting thing to note is uh, that we are a, a truly a global company with a Chinese origin listed in, in the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, our shipments are also fairly diversified. We are not overly reliant on one or two markets. As you can see, uh, 2019 and 2020, our overshe uh, uh, 83 and 85 percent respectively, we have shipped uh, to overseas clients. So here's uh, the thing I was talking about earlier. This is what we take uh, pride in the most um, by leading innovation in the, in the solar industry. So with a lot of money being spent on R&D and uh, more than 1,000 patent applications, and we are leading uh, the industry in terms of uh, innovation and these efficiency records. And again, here's uh, how things were from a 19.3% uh, efficiency cell back in 2013, we have progressed all the way to 23.8% uh, efficiency in type cells by 2020. And uh, when it comes to the actual module availability, as you can see, we are uh, with our Tiger Pro series, we are uh, pushing uh, the actual module power to around 585 watt. And our product offerings, uh, uh, as of right now, we have the Cheetah series, full cell and half cell. We have the Swan series, both with bifacial and with DuPont's uh, transparent back sheet. And Tiger also, we have the Tiger and the Tiger Pro, uh, which again comes with the bifacial variant as well. So uh, most of our uh, newer factories, and uh, we recently opened up a 10 gigawatt uh, factory in Yiwu just for the Tiger and Tiger Pro series, is a highly automated and uh, what you would call smart factories in China. And uh, as this mentions, we were the first manufacturer to implement AI for polycrystalline components to determine the EL defects. So uh, as mentioned again, uh, we are uh, leading the indu uh, this industry in terms of innovation and technology. So we have uh, <clears throat> very high levels of QC and uh, we ensure the, the highest quality standards. And that's what has helped us uh, come to the uh, number one place and to maintain uh, for, it for more than four years now. So we look at the quality pyramid uh, when we look at solar. We just don't, we, we ask our customers to also look at uh, a pyramid. So we are seeing right now different powers and different things being uh, showcased around. But we feel that durability and reliability should be the main focus. If you build your pyramid on uh, poor reliability and uh, poor durability, then you're going to have problems. And uh, this is why we place a special focus on the bill of materials and uh, then stable performance of the product, low degradation. And finally, we look at the efficiency and the real world performance. So all these things are important uh, to have a, a quality pyramid. And uh, this is where I'd mentioned again, our strategic partner DuPont. Um, we use uh, DuPont Tedler back sheets for our products, mainly uh, because uh, to ensure a very high quality BOM. And a lot of the uh, manufacturers are giving a 25 year performance warranty. But if you look at the actual BOM, 
it's very clear these products will not last beyond five, 10 years. Uh, and this is what I mentioned again earlier, we've been uh, consistently ranking uh, very high across multiple uh, different uh, rankings in terms of bankability and, and reliability. And even if you take the DNVGL reliability score, only Jinko and one other manufacturer has been rated as a top performer in every single year uh, when this uh, reliability scorecard has taken place. We come to branding. <clears throat> as I discussed again, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019, Jinko has remained uh, number one in terms of shipment. And uh, you can see the steady growth that we have uh, shown uh, in the last few years. Just a few of uh, our partners uh, globally, uh, with NL, uh, EDF, Marubeni. With Marubeni, we did the 1.1 gigawatt project in Abu Dhabi, which is the largest uh, solar project in a single location. And as I mentioned again, we've been the top performer in the DNVGL with uh, the scorecard for every single year since its inception. And only Jinko and one other module manufacturer uh, have done that. And these are some reference projects in China. It's a 100 megawatt floating project in Shandong province. Uh, many large projects happening in Australia, uh, South Africa, UK, Japan, the US. And this is the project uh, which we did with Marubeni and the UAE government uh, in Abu Dhabi, 1,177 megawatts. It's another project in the US, uh, 136 megawatts. Uh, the floating project in Shandong, 120. Seven and a half megawatt project in Japan. 160 megawatt project in Chile. 11 megawatt in Brazil. So uh, the outlook that we have for the, the coming year uh, is that uh, we are looking at focusing on continuous robust growth. Uh, revenue, we definitely see a clear increase uh, the way things are heading. Um, and even in terms of gross margin, uh, we are maintaining a leading position in the industry. While it might seem uh, initially counterintuitive, um, the financial health of Jinko should be equally important to our partners who are buying our product for projects that are expected to last 15, 20, 25 years. So if you expect your product on, and the project to last that long, um, given that uh, you are basing everything on Jinko's warranty, um, Jinko's financial health should be a very important criteria for you. And uh, we will keep on uh, aggressively putting out uh, higher efficiency and higher output and uh, innovative products like we did with the Cheetah series in 2018. And now we are doing with our Tiling Ribbon Tiger uh, products. And we take uh, sustainability of product process and the business model very seriously and we'll uh, read more about that in, in an upcoming slide. Um, so Jinko is the um, first solar company to join uh, the uh, RE100 and EP100 uh, green initiatives uh, where we are committing uh, to operate 100% uh, uh, all our operations using uh, renewable power. So it's one thing just to say that we are a green company, but in, truly in practice, we are committed to making sure that we are uh, a sustainable company and we are uh, joining uh, a group of uh, highly esteemed companies like Apple, Google, Facebook. Um, so we are really uh, leading, not just in terms of just shipping modules out, but we really want to lead where it matters by making sure that uh, we lead some change. Now uh, we'll get to the Tiger Pro series, which is our latest product offering. And uh, again, go looking at uh, where things are heading, Here's uh, the levelized cost of energy and how it has come down. So in Pakistan, as we know, uh, some of the IPP projects are happening even uh, at uh, prices below uh, three cent, uh, around three cents US, a uh, little over that. So 
that's what we are seeing now the LCOV trend. Solar plus storage is beating most uh, other, uh, other sources of energy and even solar plus uh, tracking even without storage is becoming significantly uh, cost competitive. So with our Tiger Pro series and where we are planning to head with the Tiger Pro 2 or with the 600 watt modules to be launched next, uh, next year, um, we are seeing that the LCOE would drop even further. And here again, you can see the evolution of products. We had the Eagle series back in 2017. We launched the Cheetah series the, with the 158 millimeter cells. We were the industry leader who made the, the entire industry change to that 158 millimeter standard. And now uh, we are launching the, the Tiger Pro series for 2020. So, so far we are seeing uh, more than three gigawatt of shipments uh, for Tiger. And uh, this is the, the Tiger Pro, the 72 cell version. We're having 540 watt output up to 21.4% efficiency. Um, we are already, uh, we've already secured uh, close to 20 megawatt of projects in Pakistan for our Tiger Pro series um, with shipments happening uh, this, this uh, November, December and January. So uh, the Tiger series is using the multi bus bar technology and uh, also uses the half cell and we use the tiling ribbon technology to increase the energy density. And with the tiling ribbon uh, technology, you are seeing a minor, a very uh, minor overlap of cells, as you can see negative 0.3 millimeter. So there's no, no cell gap. And therefore you can get about 0.3% efficiency and 0.2% additional energy generation. Uh, even the warranty has been upgraded for the Tiger series. Uh, compared to a standard warranty, uh, this is getting you 2% uh, uh, degradation in the first year. And uh, annual degradation is 0.55% uh, after the first year. And for the bifacial, uh, you are getting 0.45% uh, annual degradation. Uh, it's not just uh, a matter of making a, a larger and bigger module. We have to uh, understand that what we, the bigger module we make can actually deliver uh, VOS savings. So the optimized VOC of Tiger Pro can actually uh, allow you uh, to have 11% uh, more power in, in, in a given string. And uh, compatibility with the uh, existing uh, inverters and trackers, uh, there will be no issues. Uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, multiple projects, large projects happening in Pakistan in the coming months. And the bifacial product is also uh, a very good product and we are also uh, shipping two megawatts of the bifacial product to Pakistan uh, with delivery in January. Uh, even my own house in Sri Lanka has the, has the bifacial product. So here's a LCOE analysis from Vietnam. Uh, as you can see uh, by using our uh, Tiger Pro series compared to a uh, 500 watt module from competitor, you are seeing 3% uh, uh, lowering of VOS cost. LCOE is also uh, improved. And IR is also improved. So uh, Tiger Pro, uh, as I mentioned, we are just starting shipments to Pakistan uh, this quarter. And uh, by end of 2021, we expect to have about 13 gigawatts of Tiger Pro capacity. Um, thank you very much. As uh, one of the participants mentioned, uh, now we know uh, more about us and we can continue the discussion forward. You can always feel free to contact us and learn more about how Tiger Pro can deliver the best LCOE for your project. Thank you, Shahan, uh, for a very informative uh, presentation. And uh, we would like to now move to the next uh, speaker, Mr. Jen Jang, uh, for Senior Sales Manager, Southeast Asia and Pakistan for Goodwee. Uh, so over to you, Mr. Jen. 
Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Musa. And uh, very nice to share some information about my company and my personal strategy of the of the future business in Southeast Asia, especially for Pakistan. And uh, I have 15 minutes. So I'll give you a roughly introduction of Guru. We probably many of the friends in this chamber, you already heard about our company. We have three IMD centers, more than 200 IMD staff, and we are a company which famous and focus on quality and, uh, and innovation. Actually, we only have about uh, 1,200 uh, of the global staff, but in 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 the in here we have more than 200 of the IMD staff. We have more than 130 patents, and we have two plants in in one is in Suzhou and another in Guangde, another city of the China. And uh, we call ourselves as a rooftop, the king of the rooftop of the uh, of the PV inverters, string inverters. Actually, we have the marketing share uh, number one in China and in Zik, also number one in Australia, number two in Moscow, in Holland, number three, like this. And we are a global present company. We have branch and staff in United Kingdom, in Germany, in Holland, in Italy, in Turkey, in India, in China, in the future, in Pakistan, for sure. For now, we have this very major sales channels I already put in, in Pakistan because including myself and my company, we really, really think Pakistan is super important market in the future. And by the way, uh, because uh, consider it about in the future, the, the, the storage solution will be more and more popular. So the good we have had invest a lot of money many years before into the IND for hybrid PV inverters. Actually, we get continues two years of the number one of the global global turnover of hybrid storage PV inverters for rooftop solution. And a very important issue is uh, the good we had uh, successfully uh, be a public company, yes, in last week, <laughs> in, in the 4th of September. Now we have well, good we is a public company. It's a very good we is a very young uh, history company. We only got 10 years history, but we already success, successful on the on the capital market uh, getting on board the capital market like our major friend company so in his in here you will find a, a lot of uh, very famous third part certification center offer us very clearly certification of the, of the award for for our great quality vde and the tuv rhineland and the upd continues four years to granted us the best supplier in Australia, in Holland, and a very important thing is we got Red Dot Design super special award for our products, the, the output. And uh, I will show you some projects, successful projects, just one very clear picture. We have plenty of the projects successfully in Pakistan, but in here I only showing two pictures. Uh, in the left, you see the, the the total screen, and the in the right, you see the, the panels and the and the inverters. And in here, we I show you some uh, another projects, rooftop projects in in Turkey, in Malaysia, in South Africa, in in, uh, in another place. And uh, today's topic, we uh, especially for Mr. Mosa, also mentioned that the rooftop is a very important issue in the future, especially for Pakistan, for sure. I fully understand that. I fully agree with that. And in this picture, I want to give everybody some information to share to you that for our company, including the Goodwill and including myself's idea for rooftop, why it's so important. Because rooftop, it could be applied in very limited land, applied in high population density, and uh, especially very good applied in some weak grid. Frankly speaking, in some Southeast Asia countries, we have some weak grid area. So rooftop is becoming a very good solution, one of the solution for sure. And it could be very well for self-consumption and uh, 
very easy to get approved by government and very easy to get installation. So my personal idea is the rooftop solar PV is very likely to be the trend in Southeast Asia countries, for sure, including Pakistan. And uh, that is in here, you will find a good with products line is, uh, is, uh, is covered from very tiny products up to utility power plant products from 0.7 kilowatt up to 250 kilowatt. We are company only focus on producing the string inverters, but we can do residential solution, storage solution, commercial and industrial solution, and for sure, power plant utility products. And uh, the most powerful weapon for you, for, for Pakistan friends, today I want to show you that we have a very good product we call the SDT Generation Second Series. It's a, it's a three-phase product with double MPPT tracers. Why I introducing and focus on this product to, to, to you? Because I really believe this product could be very well applied for the next period of the, of the demands of the Pakistan. Uh, according to our understanding that bugs can annually will consume about more than 600 megawatts of the local installation in Pakistan and uh, a lot of them are commercial and industrial solutions and they need a three phase string inverters and they need a very good solution, a package solution for cost reduction. So we designed this SCD Generation 2 series, only focus on the commercial and industry solutions for Pakistan friends, for Pakistan industry. Uh, here I show you some SDT Generation 2 series because we have 50% of the DC oversizing, 10% of the AC output overloading, very high efficiency, more than, and uh, more than 98% and the lifetime free access to our Sims portal. The Sims portal is a, a software which I will show you later. It's the system, the software system is totally free to install in your PC laptop or uh, a cell phone. And a very important feature is that we have AFCI fully integrated in our products in both hardware and software. FCI, which means arc fault detect detected. Some arc, the electronic arc will in some occasional will happen during the power transmission in, the, in, 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 in module and in, in the lines. Sometimes it will make fire. And the, our products, especially with SDT generation two, with the double MPPT products, it's already integrated this very important functional to make sure your module, your power plan could be fully applied in more than 25 years, even like Mr. Shanghai mentioned, Jinko's products will extend their lifetime to 30 years. So FCI is very important, very important functional. And easy to install. I fully designed this product for Pakistan market to, to, to be easy to install including plug into the lines, including in, in, in installing the software. And uh, I want to, uh, in this picture, I want to mention a very important thing is that we achieved more than 50% of the over, uh, uh, overloading, uh, oversizing and uh, in, in, the, in the DC sites and up to 10% of the overloading in the AC site, which means you can maximum for, for example, if you, you, you have a one, if you, if you designed for a one megawatt of the, of the, of the inverters with, with, with the Goodwill products, for example, SDT generation two, you can maximal access into 1.5 megawatts of the total PV output. And you can access to the power grid up to 1.1 uh, megawatt. It's, it's like a, a, a desert for free to offer to our customer. By the way, this number is much bigger than other inverters producer. 
And in this picture, you 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 see the very easy to know. I call it easy to easy to understand, easy to know a, a, a software panel. This is uh, fully installed on your on your uh, PC uh, 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 the PC laptop or PC computer. And uh, you see in this picture, you can find everything you need. The, today's power generated, and today's income, and the situation, weather, and everything. And by the way, I mentioned already this this software is totally generated and produced by Goodwe, and uh, it's totally for free. In even in the future for upgrading, it's totally for free. We can provide the free platform for everything. And uh, in the future, you have some information. You can just size these codes. It will not only on, on our internet, but also on the on the on the our real machines box. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Mr. Musa, give you back the speaker. Thank you, Mr. Thanks. Mr. Jill. Uh, very interesting uh, presentation. And uh, as you said, the residential market and the CNI market in Pakistan rooftop market is growing. Uh, the products are really exciting, some very good features, and I'm sure uh, we'll have questions about this from our attendees as well. Uh, so in the meantime, before we take questions, we have one uh, final, presenta uh, final presentation. Uh, Mr. Ali Majid, Sales Manager, Asia Pacific Region for Longi Solar. Ali, uh, over to you. Uh, you can share your screen and, and start your presentation. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Vakas, I believe uh, Ali, Mr. Ali is facing some difficulties with his internet connection. We'll just wait for two to three minutes, probably he'll join in. Okay, so in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll take one of the questions. Questions, uh, yeah. Uh, from, yeah. From the question uh, details. Um, one of the questions, uh, okay, some of the questions have already been answered. Um, what I'll do is in the meantime, uh, let's. Uh, by, by the time Mr. Ali asks the questions, uh, if there is Mr. anybody who has joined to ask questions, please, please join in. Okay, yes. so then we'll move to the questions later on. Uh, all the attendees, just a quick reminder for you that this webinar is also going to be available uh, on the YouTube channel for Pack Exhibitions, FAKT.TV. Uh, you can get the recorded uh, copy of the web webinar, share it with your colleagues, distribute it again. There was lots of in interesting information shared by the uh, presenter so far. Uh, so if you want any details, you can look at that again. Um, and also, please ask your questions in the question and answer section so that it's going to be easy for us to direct it to the relevant uh, speaker. Ali, shall we start? Yeah, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay, so over to Mr. Ali, Sales Manager, Asia Pacific Region for Long Beach Solar. Uh, Ali, you can share your screen and, and start. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone, and uh, firstly, special greetings to all the panelists, and especially Mr. Shah, who was my ex colleague so at Super Solar. So, let me start. So, uh, today the presentation is divided into two parts. So, first is focus on the designing of the significance of the high power PV modules, and the second part, uh, part is for introduction of the high HI, uh, high O5 series, which is the highest voltage series of Longi Solar available, which will be available in the uh, quarter four of this year and onward. So let me quickly go through this presentation. So we will cover up the first part, which is which is about the significance of the high power TV modules. So the, uh, significant, uh, as you can see in the presentation, that the significance, uh, especially for developing for every manufacturer to develop the high voltage modules, and for the EPC, it's important to install the high voltage modules to reduce the main main benefit is to reduce the LCOE cost and the total reduce the BS cost of the total system and reduce the module cost as well ensure module reliability and ensure application compatibility with the inverters. So the high voltage module will be, they will be a less cost for the BIOS system of the total system. And this is, uh, let me just move on. So the second advantages of having the high voltage module is to increase the module's size. So the, what it does is when you use the high voltage modules as well, 
So it's 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 bigger than the normal medial because the cells area is bigger. So medial manufactures and the cells manufacturers are covering the larger area, the wafers area, to cover as much space as they can. So this is how you can increase the medial size, increase cell number, or some manufacturers are increasing the cell number to get the high water medials, and some are increasing the cell area to get the high output of the medials. So medial efficiency improvement technology depends on the hopper technology. There are many manufacturers who are working half everyone is going for the hopper technology. That's the feature because that's reduced the losses in the crunch, losses in the current. So eventually increase the efficiency of MBA. So the multi bus bar technology is very commonly used in all of the all of the manufacturers. So they are using imported glasses and the white media. So high efficient cells. So this is how you get the high voltage of the PM viewers. And the next slide is BS cost can be reduced by increasing module power through larger cells. So in this presentation, you can see that we when we had the cell of 156.75 uh, centimeters when we had cell A. So BS cost were around this one, uh, 13.2 something, and gradually it goes down to now we are having the common modules manufacturers are like having 166 centimeter cells and 44, 440 watt and 445 watt. And now when the power increase two percent, the VS cost per watt can be saved about 0.4 percent. So this is how the, there are changes industry wise, efficiency wise, and the cell size wise. So it started with the 156 centimeters. Five cells and 158 and 5, 163, 162, and then there is uh, there is 182 centimeter, and then again it's 210 as well. So the application of the larger wafer, the limitation and attempt. Uh, the launch of the M6 specification. So again, uh, it's all about the cell size. So in 2000, second half of the 2018. So there was 156, 157, and the cell size has been increasing quarter by quarter, year by year. But uh, M6, M6 cell specification was the main commonly used all of, of, by all of the manufacturers, the major manufacturers. So this is actually M2 cells, and the size of the M2 cells was when it was back in 2018, and then it's gradually improving. The cell size to G1 and M6 is 166 mm, and then now the G10 cell is 210. And some of the manufacturers are like producing the PV modules based on the G10, the G12, uh, G12 cells which are 210 mm. And this is uh, actually the dilemma and exploration of the G10 because uh, five row versus the six row cell. Vapor application. It's not uh, actually when you if you read it. So it's like if you if you triple cut to reduce the module current, but the higher voltage brings the limited BS cost saving. So five pro five pro design solves the widening problem because the module is not that much wider. But the long ribbon for circuit loop will reduce the module efficiency and cause the power loss. So that's, there are the research paper on it. So uh, those are the major findings that they have analysis the five five rows of the five G for the modules which are based on G12. And for the six row cell, if you use the G10 G12 cell, which is 210 mm, half pad will leave the high print IEC if and, and if considering if you are using the partial module and the partial albedo factor 20%, then the IC of Will be 22 ampere, which cause higher internal loss and hot spot. There, there will be a hot spot risk and the junction box failure could happen. The junction box failure. So now we will have the projects with these modules G12 based on the G12 modules, and then there will be a more data available uh, for the analysis for the further analysis. Though. And this, these are the findings based on the research paper. And oops, oops, sorry. so it, so actually the some of the manufacturers like they are they are unifying the 
they are trying to make the industry standard for the cell cell uh, for the cell cell life, which is uh, 182. So they are working on it. So it's uh, like it's reasonable to unify PV and semiconductor silicon vapor. So that will bring the benefits. So so this is just about it. And boundary condition analysis for the new. Uh, so they, they are like the production feasibility and cost. So it's all about the cells if they unify and then reliability and module transportation if they unify the uh, cell size then there will be these benefits production feasibility cost and these are relevant to it and even the system compatibility which will be which is which is the point of discussion for most of the manufacturers even inverter manufacturers and even for the trackers because the larger module uh, there will be a even tracking issues if the module will be the larger and the heavier for the tracking system and for the inverter as well. So these are these are for the container door because the analysis for the container because the loading is also an important factor uh, for any shipment. So even because it's one cent per watt cost for every factor. So if they, that's the analysis because the container height is like this one and this one. So if you consider it, so module size, so 182. Uh, 182 mm cells based the modules based on 182 mm cells they are the right fit for the container size logistically they are good as well so the bigger the module will be there will be a transport transportation issue to the project site and there will be a breakage issue there will be installation issue these kind of issues uh, might come and these are verification of the vh m10 uh, boundary conditions so the mounting, these are just the benefit of using the verification uh, M10 signs. So now I'm stepping into the second part of this presentation, which is the Longi High MO5 module. So right now the Longi Solar is providing the H High MO4 series, but the High MO5 series they have already launched it and they started the production, and uh, the capacity will be available starting from the KL4. From the next one, they will be starting to provide the high MO5 video. So we will just look at, uh, quickly look, at, uh, look in, into it. So these are the technology in this about the, this HMO5 is based on the M10 cell, M10 cells, uh, which is 182 mm, and uh, which is also gallium proof mono wafer cell. So what the Longi does is they gallium proof their own cell because to reduce the degradation, annual degradation and first year degradation, because when they do that, so they eliminate the LIED issues in the materials. And plus it's a P-type per cell base and 9 GB half per technology, normal six row, 72, 72 cells half per materials. And that's, uh, that's for the biofuel technology, 440, uh, 540 watt and the VOC is uh, 49 and ampere is 13 and the power temperature coefficient is minus 0 0.3 uh, 35 centigrade Celsius and the size uh, so, uh, the weight of the material is 32.3 because it's a bifurcated module it's not a monocolored single cycle it's double cycle in the dimension you can see that there's a 22 56 mm and the same like you got it's a 72 cell it's not that much bigger and smart, uh, Longi Solar is using the smart soldering technology because they uh, they think that the medieval efficiency increased by 0.3 percent compared to conventional MVB technology because of the triangle and the flat surface and the micro gap. And that's uh, that's the smart soldering technology because it reduces the tensile stress of the cell by 20 percent, enabling higher reliability. Because uh, that's the analysis for the flat ribbon and the circular ribbon and the logic segmented ribbon. So here you can see that uh, there is just less strength in the laundry materials because of uh, the thermal effects, uh, one thermal cycle, there is uh, less stress. And the leading power uh, warranty because the laundry solar, because the laundry solar actually, are, as already discussed, that they get into their cells. So this is why they achieve the first year degradation less than 2% and the linear annual degradation of the pipe shell module is 0.4% and whereas for the monopart single cycle module is 0.455% uh, per year. So this is how you end up 
after 25 years, you end up that it's still getting 84.8 percent of power. Uh, for the monoxial and for the bifuel, it's uh, 84.95. So that's uh, the Donji Solar have the two uh, have two modules available. Like in 66 cells, they they can provide 495 modules, and in 72 cells, the maximum power is 540 volt. And the dimension of this uh, dimension of the modules are written right here. So it's uh, really smart and based on the word 182. Uh, so uh, this, uh, these are just a best analysis of uh, uh, analysis of the BS saving. BS saving. So if you use the HMO5 series, like the 535 watt, and if you use the module 72 cell base, which is based on the 158 cell, so you get the saving of eventually these for the mounting. You get these kind of things. So eventually, altogether, it's uh, one for more than 1.2. You can save more than 1.2 cents per watt. And uh, this analysis is based on for HMO5 being on the solar HMO5, and the modules, another module is the, based on the G12 cell, as we discussed, because it's 210 uh, based. So as these are analysis. So if you use on the fixed mount, so that you, you save 0.35 and you save, you save these kind of, for the mounting, for the combiner, those, for these kind of things, you save it. So these are actually the investigation, because these are actually the analysis for all the modules. Like uh, if you are using the G1, the modules which is based on the G1 and the cell efficiency, and same like goes for the 78 cell, 62 and this and this and this is HMO572 cell. So here you can see that the module efficiency of HMO5 is the highest one among all of these modules. It's 20.9 and where and the even size is uh, uh, much uh, size is better as well. It's not that much. And plus, if you use uh, this is how if you use the HMO5 series, so you save uh, the BS cost saving is minus. 1.34 and the capacity longi solar, solar capacity is mass longi is going into the mass production for their hmo5 capacity so they are uh, they are planning to achieve 12 gigawatt of hmo5 within this year by the end of december by the end of the hmo5 so about longi a quick review about the longi solar so Longi Solar started with the HMO1, HMO2, HMO3, HMO4. Right now we have been providing the HMO4. And the Longi Solar, uh, in this picture, as Mr. Sean also mentioned, that the global market share is increasing, mono, uh, mono this line market share is increasing. So right now in 2020, it's 90% of the global market. And the, only the 10% is remaining with the poly, which we might be 100% or maybe 95% next year, 21. And this is, I like uh, uh, the capacity, the solar capacity and the LCOE. So if you use, so we, M6, large M6, based on the M6 side, so we achieve the uh, solar achieve 14 gigawatt and we high it's for us in 2018, it was 8.8 .8 for this one, this one. So it has been increasing their capacity as well. And the vapor size is increasing as well. And these are some of the projects, uh, the bike shell module project and their references, so how much the sand, so what you get from the backside albedo effect of the Longi Solar bike shell technology and the reference project is done. And we, these are HMO5. Uh, these are slightly in the different scenario. These are the reference projects for uh, Longi Solar. And these are uh, actually this presentation is a Longi Solar package. I mean, Longi Solar last year required one factory in uh, Vietnam as well, which is Vina Solar, so it's a 7 gigawatts capacity. So all of these factories, the Longi Solar has these capacities and their capacity is right down here. So Longi Solar is planning to achieve 23 gigawatts within this year and next year it will be over 25 gigawatts. Uh, 
and the Ramji Solar established in 2000 and 2000 established, but they have been, they are still providing the vapor, largest vapor, mono vapor manufacturer in the world. So even though in modules capacity, so they are, they are uh, improving their modules capacity year by year. Last year it was very poor, even uh, 20 gigawatts, it was the largest one. So they, they have been increasing, increasing their modules capacity. So this is about, and DNF and only rated triple A rating field dual tech company with a large uh, R&D investment. And that's all about the Lungi Solar. Actually, this presentation was supposed to be uh, given by my senior director, Alex Lee, so which was not available and had to had to go for a meeting. So I hope so. Uh, if there will be any question, you can drop in the message, so I will get you the answers. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. I was just uh, looking through the questions. Uh, thank you, Ali. Thank you, Mr. Sean, Mr. Ali, and Mr. Gill. Uh, we will now uh, be taking questions which have been listed by the participants, uh, by the attendees of the webinar. Uh, we have a few questions here. I will, I will take the questions and I will direct them to any specific uh, presenter if it's relevant, or else I will leave it open. Answer. So the first question we have is actually addressed uh, to Mr. Jell. Uh, the uh, attendee has asked, please explain the following two points, up to 50% DC input oversizing ratio uh, of 1.5x and 1.1x output to grid uh, AC. Uh, Mr. Jell, uh, this question is for you. Kindly uh, let us know if you would like to answer it. Uh, yes. Uh, thanks, Mr. Musa. Yeah, actually, I already noticed that question and answer in the in the chat uh, module that it means although your inverters only 10 kilowatt for example but you can use a total uh, input of the pv module at the dc sides up to 50 percent more which means you can use uh, for example 15 kilowatt to max to, to to match with our 10 kilowatts uh, uh, inverters and uh, and uh, the ten percent of the of the AC side, it means you can get a maximal output up to, up to eleven kilowatts of the of the AC side. And for this kind of uh, we call it for, for, for this kind of uh, functional in inverters industry, we call this oversizing and overloading. It's very popular technology because. Uh, in, in everybody, you can understand in the in the in the daytime, the the power uh, generating rate is totally different from the uh, evening up to or from the morning up uh, up to evening. It's totally different. So we need this kind of flexible uh, uh, calculation. But it also provides the users a kind of desert because you can use a small. Uh, inverters, but you can uh, you can match with a bigger uh, PV panels. It's very simple understanding, and uh, this is actually forbidden in forbidden calculation and forbidden to sizing in, in the North American uh, market. But except the North American market, except the United States, for the, all the other all, all the other whole globe, all the other countries, it's totally accepted and very very popular. Yeah, Mr. Mosa. Thank you. This is a very interesting answer. And uh, even I didn't know that it was not allowed in the North America to oversize the inverter. So that's, uh, that's good to know. And it's available in, in most of the other markets. Thank you. Uh, the yes. next question uh, which we have, uh, I think this one is addressed towards both the panel uh, selling companies, uh, Shaham, Mr. Shaham and Mr. Ali. Uh, the question which is asked by the attendees is that, uh, is there any plans for thin film modules uh, especially given some of the uh, conditions in Pakistan, specifically the, 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 the questioner mentioned, uh, mentioned Karachi. Uh, if, are there any plans? And if yes, what kind of conversion ratios uh, would we be looking at? So maybe Mr. Shahan, you can take it first and then we'll ask Mr. Ali. Okay. Uh, so uh, to be honest, I've not looked at thin film for quite a while now. At least the last time I, I looked at it, uh, silicon PV was still, uh, offering you uh, better overall cost uh, benefits. 
And I think at that time, at least for very large projects, it was competitive. But uh, given the very high weight, um, I think we had uh, First Solar doing um, a couple of projects in Sri Lanka on rooftops. And uh, then they had to remove the panels because these uh, dual glass modules just were too heavy and these roofs caved in. Um, so I, I think at least the last time I checked, it has not uh, really become uh, mainstream except in uh, utility scale projects. But I think even then right now, uh, silicon PV uh, still has an edge over uh, these thin film products. Uh, thank you, Shahan. Uh, Ali, is there anything you would like to add on this regarding thin film from a long solar, proxy solar perspective? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I, I would say that according to you, in my opinion, that because you know the financial feasibility does matter a lot. Because I think the thin film technology, so it doesn't make sense for even 100 megawatt over one gigawatt gigawatt projects to have the thin film technology. Same like you know the S. Shahan mentioned that they are doing projects in one gigawatt, so it doesn't make sense. Financial because thin film technology is expensive. Even the, they have improved a lot. Even for solar is only the I think manufacturer working on the thin film technology right now at great scale. So there is commercially commercial issue as well, and I think the price issues as well, and the other project cost issues as well. So this is why the thin film technology is not not going as uh, as forward as the PVC silicon technology is going on. And there are so much research research going on in the PV modules, uh, silicon sector. Not the thin film sector is not that. It's limited to the car charging or maybe the BIPV buildings. These kinds of applications, the thin film technology is getting ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, the, uh, the next question which we have uh, is perhaps I think addressed uh, towards Gurmi where the, the, the attendee has asked, uh, do you have any ideas about innovations regarding storage uh, and, and uh, st storage related? Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, Guru, we, we are, yes, Guru, we, we are actually the, the first, absolutely the first tier one company in a storage solution. And uh, our uh, hybrid uh, products, it could be fully uh, applied in, in connected uh, meanwhile the, the grid and connected uh, your your consumption and connected uh, with the storage the three connection together and another connection is from the PV panels and uh, in the in the future for uh, our innovation for hybrid products is we will uh, keep on uh, innovation and keep on uh, increasing the performance but most important we will uh, provide the market with uh, we will call it uh, a total in one machine. We will integrate the inverters. We will invert. If, uh, we will integrate the, the cells, the battery cells, the lithium cells, and other uh, components into one machine. We call it ESA or some other types in the future. We already have the the uh, the perfect products and already start to selling. In in, in 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 the euro and in uh, uh, south uh, in the uh, south america and but in the future yeah we will we will present i will present these products into into back ten market and the southeast asia market to saving cost and uh, for cost reduction function uh, uh, purpose great sounds very exciting and uh, we look forward to seeing those products in the market thank you um, so we've reached the end of our time. Uh, there's one minute left, so I would like to take the opportunity to thank our uh, thank all the uh, speakers and all the attendees who saved who, who spared their precious time uh, for Solar Pakistan webinar number five. Uh, I would like to request all of you to subscribe to the FAKT Exhibitions uh, YouTube channel FAKT.tv, Fact Exhibition YouTube channel FAKT.tv. Uh, to view this recorded uh, webinar, more videos and information as, as needed. Uh, thank you again, everybody, and uh, have a nice day. See you soon. Thank you, Mr. Moza. Thank you, Mr. Shanghai. Thank you, Mr. Ali. Thank you. Thanks so much, everyone. Mr. Jill, Mr. Ali, Mr. Musa, Mr. Bilal, and all the attendees uh, who made this uh, event a success. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.